Okay, hello guys and girls. So I'm uh, hid in the garage at the moment because it again is the quietest place. It's out of the wind. There's no kids screaming or jumping about on the roof. So what I want to do is just red pill you, uh, red pill you a little bit. If you know what the terminology means, then you know where I'm going to. But basically, this is for the uh, people who have uh, grabbed onto Land Rovers recently and they're on the channel. And I just want to dispel a myth about Land Rovers, uh, Defenders and the series and the such like. My father, he started in the RF in the war, come out of the war, so he saw the first Land Rovers come into, uh, into service. And when I first got my Land Rover, he was quite shocked. But he said one thing, they're high maintenance motors, whichever way you get around it. And it's true, they are high maintenance motors. You've got to look after them. They're designed as a platform that can be built and rebuilt. They can have things put on it, and that's what it was designed to do. It was never designed to go on a motorway at 90 to 110 miles an hour. It was designed to go off-roading, um, to take challenging tracks. The reason you have your door so close and you have to hang your uh, arm out of the window so you can actually see out of the window. And people find this a bit uncomforting and... Uh, yeah, it's, well, it's a lifestyle choice, and you can see, well, old guys like me, you can see that the styles have changed. From the uh, Spartan series vehicles, now we have the Defenders, which have uh, leather seats in. I'm not going to knock it, I mean, uh, some of them are nice, but it's still, at the end of the day, it's something you can uh, take to bits and put back together again, and you can configure it how you want. That's what it was designed for. Now, old guys like me, I've seen quite a few changes. The uh, changes in the Puma are not actually that much. You get, what, a dashboard, a few changes, nothing major. Different engine, different gearbox, and, uh, well, the configuration, the chassis is near enough the same. Um, it's died out now. It's uh, finished with, so what we're left with is a legacy. And uh, this is something that we have to achieve uh, to keep alive as long as we can until perhaps fuel runs out, I don't know, um, it's up to you. The other thing, the other myth, and this is a myth, is Land Rovers can re be repaired with the simplest tools. Yeah, right, okay, that was uh, with most motor vehicles at the time, you could have a uh, simple workshop uh, barely uh, equipped and you could get on and do all the jobs. As motor technology has progressed, uh, so have the repair techniques, and you do need specialist tools at times. It's a complete fallacy that you can just get a socket set and a pair of uh, screwdrivers and such like and, and repair them because uh, it's not true. It's just not true. Even from new, um, you need the specialist tools. This is why franchise dealers have them, and it's not because they want to... Uh, to keep them to repair them for themselves. It's because of the technology that's involved in uh, building gearboxes, putting them together quickly, production wise, and then having to repair them. Um, it's just the way it is. Uh, so I'm going to red pill you on that one. It's uh, these things uh, with our um, skills. Okay, you come into owning a Land Rover, yeah, fine, okay, you'll be able to do simple jobs and then you have to progress until eventually, <laughs> if you are willing, then you'll have to change chassis and such like, and it's progressive, it's, it's an evolution of your skills. Small steps take you a long way. If, for instance, you had no skills and you started off and you really, really wanted to do a rebuild, you're going to have to learn. If you already know these skills, and it's easy. I mean, um, some of the guys I work with, they could take a Land Rover and uh, completely rebuild it in two weeks if they had all the bits. It's just the way it is. But, of course, we're here at LRTV. I've shown you um, quite a few bits uh, what to do, and I'm, I'm hoping that you can apply it in other areas of your life because once you've done a Land Rover as such or a, a Defender, you can step onto something else because... Uh, similarities in uh, other vehicles, especially of perhaps the same era or the same uh, decade, what your, what your Defender would have uh, been produced, or Discovery one, you'll find the technology in other vehicles, there's not much difference. What it is now, you have a complete change. You have the Range Rover Discoveries, they, and the Range Rover Sports, they're, they're a different, completely different breed. 
again, still they, they still have software that is uh, the same as other vehicles that are riding about on the road. But it's a different mentality. It's more electronic than it is mechanical. I know some people are scared of it. All it is is a matter of learning. If, you, uh, if you're prepared to learn because you've got one of those vehicles and you take your time, then all well and good. But um, it still leaves you hanging with if you can afford to repair your vehicle, to invest in the equipment. If you can't, what are you going to do? Well, I would uh, pay somebody to do the job, so that's as simple as that. Anyway, this is just a little bit of banter today. You can see in the background here is the, uh, this is my storage space, and uh, today is the quietest. It's been raining like hell outside, and uh, the kids are running around in my workshop. So I thought I'd just have a little chat. Um, I'm going to give you more of my face, you know, because uh, perhaps because I feel a bit more confident on camera now. And um, anyway, we'll carry on with the tutorials. I'll do this from time to time. I'll bring up a subject and then uh, we'll, we can discuss it. I'll say something and then you can uh, throw things in the comments and uh, we can go from there because um, it's interesting for some people. Um, there's, it is a deep philosophy, if you like. From my point of view, it's, it's a motor vehicle. That's it. Yeah, but it's one that I love. Yeah, <laughs> so, so there you go. Anyway, see you later. Thank <laughs> you.